Thank you, Teresa, and receive my greetings, everyone, online or uh, in person there. I am here speaking to you as, as the program manager, uh, coordinator for human trafficking prevention at the Marie World Center in Toronto, Canada, a ministry of the RBB and Sisters. I speak also as Latin American belonging to a large group of migrant refugees, asylum seekers, and as a woman, a migrant worker, and a human rights defender and justice seeker. All those factors have created for me the necessity to researching human trafficking and how it links with migration, migrant workers, smuggling, labor, and sexual exploitation, and the growing poverty in the global south, specifically in Latin America. I have talked to and learned from numerous experts, and I've spoken with a lot of people on the ground about human trafficking. Doing this, I have, the, I have get the opportunity to know people from the inside. You can imagine the number of open mouths I have seen every time I mention human trafficking in Canada and that human trafficking is not only sex trafficking, that it also involves other modalities such as labor exploitation and that this modality is perhaps the most significant expression of human trafficking in rich countries. People here think this is a problem happening far away in poor countries. We all need to understand that human trafficking is a global issue. It uses human beings as a facility and occurs in all countries worldwide. It has various modalities that change according to the social, economical, and cultural context. Because my Spanish language, I started receiving phone calls, messages, and emails asking for information and counseling within and outside Canada. People talked about their and others' situations. They experienced deception caused by false works proposals and others are victims of abuse by exploitative employers. And there are people in Latin America considering moving to work in Canada. Although the government of Canada has official websites and posts all the information on how to migrate and about job positions in different sectors, looking for foreign workers, a more significant num number of websites post false information. People read daily posts offering positions in Canada that claim to provide unbelievable salaries. All these situations combined push people to make wrong decisions. There are histories from those who use illegal pathways to migrate, induced by smugglers operating across borders, exposing their lives and integrity to all kinds of dangers, including losing their lives or disappearing. The IOM stated that in 2020, 16.2 million migrants from Central America, including Mexico, crossed borders to North America. 49% of them were women. In 2022, approximately 250,000 migrants crossed the Darien Gap, one of the most dangerous roads in the world between Colombia and Panama, with more than 80,000 persons crossing in the first three months of 2023. The International Commission of Missing Persons stated that crossing land borders from South America to North America between 2014 and 2023 was reported the disappearance of 9,283 people. 418 of them were boys and girls. We also need to talk about the experiences of deception, exploitation, and abuse happening to migrant workers in sectors such as farms, construction, and hospitality, among others. Many unfair histories exist from people working in legal companies, doing legal jobs under illegal conditions. In Canada, there are 924,850 people 
without permanent resident status recognized by the government. 72% of them are from Latin America. 501,980 have a work permit. 11% of them are from Latin America. 202,000 are international students. 7% of them are from Latin America. 800, sorry, 184,000 are temporary foreign workers. Of those, 70,267 work in the agricultural sector. Of those, 70% are from Latin America. Here, the percentage changed. And 58% are from Mexico. We are atando cabos, as we say in Spanish, connecting the dots, linking the reality of impoverishment of rural sectors in Latin America, of people losing lands, water, and natural resources traveling to countries such as Canada, Spain, or the US to work in farms, in construction, in domestic wars, also in sexual services or prostitution. At the Mary World Center, we wanted to create a strategy to inform, raise awareness, educate, educate and prevent human trafficking and labor exploitation, all in one. From my experience, I knew that the radio is solid communication in Latin America, especially in rural areas. So it was the best challenge for doing all those things. There was a need, we had an idea. There were topics to inform and to talk about, but we needed a voice. We also found a voice in CHH Radio Latina in Toronto, a community radio station. I sent a proposal and they say immediately, yes, we are in. CHHA has been our partner, partner in doing the radio program together. In the last quarter of 2022, we broadcast six programs in the greater Toronto area. It was good. However, we also needed to speak to all those considering migrating to Canada to inform them and raise awareness. So we call friends and send messages, emails, uh, and smoke signals. We contacted voices and created an strategy connecting CHHA from Canada with six radios in Colombia, Mexico, Honduras, and El Salvador. Then we engage another more prominent voice, the World Association of Community Radios, Section Latin America and Caribe, AMARC. It brings together over 1,000 radio stations broadcasting in Spanish. On the second Monday of every month, we broadcast, broadcast for one hour. Some radio broadcast directly and others broadcast when they consider it the best time. Also, this year, we have two more collaborations, one from Spain, another significant destination for Latin American people. The IBBM sisters interview experts and provide information from there. And the Diocese of Montreal, every month offers an analysis from the province of Quebec. We have broadcast 22 hours, 16 of which link Canada with Latin America, 49 49 guests from 36 organizations have participated in our radio programs. 16 from Canada, 14 from Latin America, and six from Spain. We are creating transnational collaboration from civil organizations. The radios are putting their, platform, their platforms and resources into a program free of ads. From Mary World Center, we offer our professional knowledge commitment and human conviction. We receive messages from people while we are broadcasting and between programs. People receive the information and act as ambassadors informing others. Human trafficking, sex trafficking, sexual and labor exploitation, begging, form marriage, human organs trafficking, etc., are realities no one can deny. The modalities change between regions as I mentioned before, but I know Latin America and I have known Canada and all this is happening daily and right now. 
we need to do everything possible to prevent people from becoming victims of smugglers, human traffickers, and for any form of exploitation. We know that criminals take, take advantage of people's lack of information and knowledge. We desire that people become aware of the crime, its risks and issues, but overall, people deserve to know and protect their rights and dignity, to highlight the human rights always as migrants, as migrant workers, in any situation, place, and with everyone. No hay trato con la tata, we said in our radio programs, and human trafficking, a commitment for all. Thank you.